Hi everyone, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Thank you guys for watching these videos. I'm having a great time. Six months ago, I started this channel uh, thanks to uh, a dear friend and my YouTube manager, Christian Franz, who uh, inspired me to do this during the lockdown. I did this in April when I was barely working and I really cut down clinic to, um, you know, in, in an effort to bring down the curve. And so uh, I really missed my patients and it's really neat looking back that six months ago I was just talking about sunscreen and my first video on um, the my favorite moisturizers, moisturizers that I can't live without. Um, thank you for the support on that first uh, short video. Um, but it's, it's really neat how it's come to this now and I'm doing product reviews and now doing K-Beauty and I'm um, collaborating with stylevana.com and they are um, really nice and exposing me to the world of Korean beauty products and I'm really having a nice time in um, trying them out and doing posts on them so uh, if you check them out you can use my promo code INF10DS which will give you 10 to 15 percent off your entire order and I've done I've ordered stuff from them and it uh, comes in a nice box where everything's well packaged and everything's authentic you don't have to worry about counterfeit products uh, today I'm going to do a product that you all uh, had suggested, so thank you for the suggestion. Uh, it's Purito Centella. This is the unscented version. I know there's another version out there that has lavender oil and other essential oils. This one is essential oil free, no fragrance, and it is SPF 50 and PA rating of 4 plus, a PA rating of 4 plus. PA rating we'll talk about really quickly, uh, but not go too much into detail. Uh, this is about $14, $15, I believe, on uh, Stylevana or on other websites. Uh, Centella Asiatica is the, uh, the trademark ingredient in this that has, is an herbal botanical ingredient that has many properties, including uh, improvement in wound healing. Uh, there's a story about how uh, tigers would roll, into, uh, roll around in this plant to help with wounds after a battle and um, help with wound healing. So uh, it's something that I was trying to look at uh, on PubMed and look at papers. There are papers on this, but in terms of botanical ingredients, it's hard to find good large studies that back up its benefits. Um, for any organic natural ingredient, I always caution patients that there are not all the same and you, not everyone will respond the same to those ingredients. Poison ivy is all natural and organic and that does a horrible allergic contact dermatitis. So, you know, any botanical ingredient has the potential to give you an allergic rash. So just to let you know that um, don't jump in thinking that you're safe from it just because it is free of essential oils, which is a big culprit of causing allergic contact dermatitis rashes. Uh, is suitable for all skin types. They also say it's vegan and cruelty free. Um, this also is non-sticky and the nice thing, no white cast. So if you reference back to my CeraVe hydrating sunscreen, um, great ingredients, but the white cast is, is something. The struggle's real with that one. Uh, so let's open this bad boy up. I did try this out for the last few weeks, but I wanted to put it back in the box. It came in this nice box here. It's a vegan company. It's a nice white bottle here. It says water-based sunscreen formulated with centella extracts helps protect your skin from UV rays and harmful environments without stickiness or white residue left on the skin. Do agree with that. No essential oils or artificial fragrance in this, which is also very nice for those with sensitive skin. So let's take this out and show you how the sunscreen looks. I'll rub it on. And I also have used this sunscreen for the last several weeks as the weather has changed. It's gotten really dark and gloomy all of a sudden in Seattle, which is to be expected, but it was a flip of a switch. And you want to not only simplify your uh, skincare routine because you don't want to put too many things on your face, but you also want things that are moisturizing. As you can see, I put... I applied it to my eyelids and I don't have any um, irritation or stinging. I did just wash my face and I put Vichy on, which is a nice hyaluronic acid-based serum to help moisturize your skin. And then I followed it up with this moisturizing sunscreen. And when I say moisturizing, I want to go through the ingredients to tell you why it's moisturizing. So as you can see here, it's rubbing in very well. 
um, a white cast. I didn't have to work very hard to rub this in. And that's another nice thing about this. It goes on very well, very lightweight. This is a chemical-based sunscreen. I know this is the first uh, product review I've talked about a chemical-based sunscreen. Usually I'm talking about only my favorite mineral-based sunscreens with zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, but I'm gonna branch off and talk about um, not only K-Beauty, but also a chemical-based sunscreen. This uh, sunscreen has uh, two ingredients that are UV filters. It is broad spectrum, so it blocks both UVA and UVB. The UVA filter is diethyl hydroxybenzyl hexyl benzoate, which is uvenyl A+. That's the other trade name for it. And that is a UVA filter. I was trying to see, I'm not very familiar with this uh, chemical sunscreen because it's not one of those classic US uh, approved ingredients, but this UVA filter may have UVA one coverage. I was trying to find some reputable sources to, to um, reference, uh, but zinc oxide being the gold standard in terms of being a mineral uh, sunscreen ingredient, but also it covers UVA one and two very well. This one um, is just the, uh, this uh, Uvenil A plus is the sole UVA filter in here. And uh, that's why you see here the PA four plus score. This is a score originally from the Japanese skincare um, system where um, they would look at the persistent pigment darkening scale and they would rate it based on how much UVA they have to shine on skin to have it darken or tan. Everyone's very different, so it's not a very reliable scale. But the um, number here can range from PA 1 plus to 3 plus a lot of times in uh, a lot of skincare, but there are some uh, countries that do accept the scale of doing max 4 plus. So this is the max amount of UVA coverage you can get in the sunscreen. SPF 50, SPF is sun protection factor, which we use in the States, primarily um, UVB based, and we're looking at UVB rays uh, for that score, and we want that 30 and above. So for SPF 50 plus, thumbs up, UVB coverage is adequate. PA 4 plus UVA coverage is excellent, supposedly. UVB filter in this is ethyl hexyl triazone, which is a, a reliable UVB filter. I was looking at the safety profiles for both of these. These are both uh, fairly safe ingredients without any uh, reports of causing cancer or other issues. So these are, um, this brand Purito did uh, choose these filters carefully and they try to minimize, I believe, the amount of filters. Some people say they wish they had more filters to have more broad spectrum coverage, but I would say the more chemicals you have, the thing I have against chemicals is that they irritate a lot of my patient's skin. Uh, they can, when they go on the light, in the sunlight, it can break apart and become very unstable and labile and cause allergic rashes or just irritating rashes, especially on the eyelids or on the cheekbone area. Uh, for me too, it, it does happen. Um, Aval benzone is a classic one that can cause that. Um, but yeah, this, this only has two filters. This has really nice moisturizing ingredients, which makes it very attractive. Um, it has hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant that draws in water and retains water. It has glycerin, which is the uh, very ubiquitous humectant ingredient also in here. So very moisturizing having those two. And then my favorite, niacinamide, vitamin B3, anti-inflammatory, great for acne prone skin. Uh, so you're covering people who have oily skin, who break out or have really sensitive rosacea skin with some acne with it, acne rosacea, this has niacinamide, which will help calm that inflammation down. So those, this is just stacked with great ingredients. Impressive. Love the ingredient list here. For now, this has not caused any irritation on my skin. There was a day when I had some, um, I did use this after a chemical peel and my skin was a little raw and I did put this on. It did have a, a tiny sting to it. Um, and that was just, it was transient. It went away pretty quickly. So I, I don't want you to be scared of this. This is fine to use after a peel because it is hydrating. Um, but in terms of after a peel, I think the most, you might want to consider a tinted sunscreen because it will block the visible light spectrum because it has iron oxides. This one does not have iron oxides. As you can see, it's not tinted. Um, but yeah, it's very good for just your regular fall day or winter day going to the office to protect you. Um, it's not water resistant. So if you're gonna go work out, just keep that in mind that it's not water resistant. 
This pri the price for this is about $13 to $15 on depending where you purchase this from at Stylevana, that holds true. And the other ingredient in this is that there's also vitamin E, or it's an antioxidant, tocopherol. And um, very nice to see that on the list as well. Uh, so yeah, this is a nice company. It's vegan, it has a good mission statement, it has very good ethics. It donates a lot of its proceeds to charities. For those of you who like to support companies that are using nice natural ingredients, vegan, cruelty-free, this is the company for you and it has really nice ingredients. It does this, um, make sure that you do get the unscented version uh, because the other one has essential oils, which I hear has a very strong lavender flavor or very <laughs> strong lavender smell to it. And um, I would say this is a nice, very nice solid option. I'm gonna rate this a four and a half shakas out of five or a rating of a nine out of 10. This is gonna be dinged because, well, I am biased because I love mineral sunscreens, chemical sunscreens I try to avoid as much as possible, but I'm really enjoying this one that is using chemical ingredients that so far have shown to be safe, um, very safe for us. And um, I did ding it a little bit because it does have, it did have a little bit of a sting at one point for me after a run, but no big deal. I'm not gonna ding it because I did, I did just have a TCA peel, which was pretty intense. Um, but I would maybe go for something like SkinCeuticals UV Fusion after a peel or, um, you know, uh, tinted, you know, Dermatology, uh, the one that I did a review on Dermatology SPF 46, which is a tinted moisturizer SPF 46. That is a, a good option after a peel. That one's very moisturizing, has iron oxides to help block um, the, the blue screen, the blue light from your screen. Uh, so I would maybe consider those for a uh, post peel. This is more for your just normal day at the office. So, you know, again, no perfect sunscreen out there. I have to really say a thumbs up for the price. I forgot to mention this is 60 uh, milliliters, it says on the, um, on the box. That comes out to two fluid ounces. So when we do review these other sunscreens that are like $36, say La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50, purely mineral sunscreen with antioxidants as well. This one has the antioxidants, but and has a little bit more sunscreen, not much more, but a little bit more, but it's also a fraction of the price, a third of the price, which is amazing. Very affordable option. So I will probably buy this again. Um, and thanks guys for uh, the suggestion to review this. I'm gonna talk more about Stylevana products as well soon and um, show you my stash that I got. All right guys, so uh, have a nice fall season. This is my favorite uh, time of the year and continue to watch me dance on Instagram and TikTok and um, Stay tuned for uh, another sunscreen review. I'll be looking at Crave Beauty products, including their Beat screen. All right, take care guys, be well, peace.